Hi, Soya Beans. It's Soya. In today's video, we're going to discuss the best combinations of various Romance Club book routes. I'm going to tell you the best stat and path combinations in each story, pairing up with my personal advice on who you should romance while playing on this specific route. But before we get into it, I would like to invite all of my lovely soya beans to my telegram channel where we discuss everything about romance club spoilers, leaks, memes. There are a lot of fun stuff there. Sparkled with a little bit of personal soya post. So join the soya club for extra romance club and soya content. Let's start with a very, very popular story, Kali, Flame of Samsara. In this story, we have the following route, Path of Pride. If you want your character to be strong, quick-witted and dignified. Path of Passion, if you want your character to be lively, emotional and sensual. So these are the stats for the main character, Devi's personality. And we also have routes for the plot freedom and legacy you also have a second stat point which is dignity second stat points affect the plot significantly the higher the better you can get dignity or any other secondary stat points by making your choices in the story and purchasing diamond options and or diamond outfits makeup hairstyles all those kind of stuff let's get back to the main stat points if you combine pride with freedom Pride and freedom make Devi confident and assertive. She will defend her personal interests over those of the dozen. So basically on freedom, Devi is more self-centered and she cares about her happiness the most. If you combine pride with legacy, pride and legacy make Devi a determined and smart family head. She will defend the dozen. If you are playing on the legacy route, she will... Put the dozen before her own interest and she will be very loyal to them as well now if you combine passion with freedom passion and freedom make Devi headstrong she isn't afraid to go against the rules of her own sake and if you combine passion with legacy passion and legacy make Devi strong and bold as the head of her family she will defend the dozen until the end I think it's safe to say that if you are romancing someone from the dozen, for example, Kamal, Ram, Doran Vasu, or Saraswasti Vasu, it's better to take Path of Legacy. And if you want to romance the Lord, Christian de Clare, <laughs> then you can play on Freedom. As for pride and passion, I don't think it really matters. It's more about Devi's personality, so I think you should choose whichever you feel more drawn to. I personally would recommend passion with Sarah, Doran, and Kamal. And with pride, you can go with Christian and Ram. The Desert Rose. The Desert Rose is a very unique story because we don't have a secondary stat point system. So the ending will be determined from your first stat points and your progression of the story. As for stat points for the main characters, personality, we have Rebellion that grows the main character into a free-spirited adventurer and Revenir that grows the main character into someone who acts with caution, courtesy and diplomacy. Yeah, I feel like she is more bored and strong on Rebellion and she's more timid and shy on Revenir. I personally prefer a strong and brave character, so I'm playing on Rebellion, but it doesn't really matter. Choose whichever you feel more comfortable playing on. And we also have the city kid, a less traditional lifestyle and feels closer to western culture and the desert flower, a more spiritual lifestyle and feels closer to the culture of her upbringing. Again, it's your choice. I think if you romance someone from the west like Cindy or Jack, it's better to take the city kid path. I would also take the city kid with Mustafa and Zane since they have international connections and they can travel anytime, anywhere. And it's a good opportunity to use that. And also, um, the city kid is just closer to me because if you think about it, the main character, Yasmin, was in her 
birthplace for all of her life. She never went out, she never saw anything, she never left the city. She basically was kept there as a prisoner by her father. So I would choose the city kid. But the desert flower is also a good route to take, especially if you're romancing Adil, Jafar, or maybe Saad. Garden of Eden. In Garden of Eden, for the main character's personality, we have ambition and principles. On ambition route, she is more cunning and diplomatic, and on principles, she is more stubborn and strong-willed. We also have a secondary set point, which is popularity. Again, the higher the better. I feel like ambition is more popular in this kind of field. Um, since you are an idol in this very cutthroat industry so ambition would be maybe more beneficial ambition would suit Songha very well and Dean Dooyong especially Dooyong also Leah but if you are romancing Kesha principles would be a better route our next story is Time catcher. On Time Catcher, for the main character's personality, we have Sun and Mishri, on which she is very gentle and emotional. And we have Moon Ares, on which she is more composed and restrained. And in this story, strangely, we have two secondary stat points, status and power of presence. Again, you can get them by making good choices in the story or purchasing diamond options or buying some outfits. Status is obviously how she is perceived by other people, the higher the better. And power of presence is connected to her magical abilities. I'm playing on Sun and Mishiri because I'm romancing Renato and I feel like the priest would like someone who is very gentle and emotional but if you are romancing Shen and Onyx for example I think Moon Harris is a better choice with Vesper too maybe I can't really figure Lucian out so with Lucian I would go with Sona Missionary too but that's just my intuition Song of the Crimson Nile Yay! <laughs> on Song of the Crimson Nile, for Eva's personality, we have honesty and cunning. An honest character is straightforward, self-confident, and at times sarcastic. A cunning character is more calculating and tries to use everything to her advantage. And with these stats, we also have the path of honesty allows you to develop your or ethical skills. You will be able to persuade people to do what you want and will become a secret leader. And on path of cunning, you can develop your manipulative skills. You will be able to subtly control people to your advantage like a puppeteer. We also have two stat points for Eva's abilities on aeromancy, which is an art of interacting with other people's dreams and necromancy, which is the art of interacting with the dead. For like a certain point of the story, you can balance them out, but later you will have to choose just one. Which is very interesting in this story. We also have loyalty and chaos. At the time that I posted and recorded this video, they have not been revealed yet, so we don't really know much about them. But my speculation is, Loyalty is loyal to Seth and Chaos is loyal to the Egyptian state and the Pharaoh. Because on Loyalty we have Seth's animal and on Chaos we have Horus's animal. As you, my lovely soya beans, know, I have two accounts. <laughs> That's four. <laughs> I have two accounts and on one account I'm playing on cunning and on the other i'm playing on honesty for me honesty is better because i'm myself like i'm a very honest person i'm not manipulative at all i'm more like a straightforward person in real life so honesty suits me better but if you are playing on cunning i would say it's more exciting to be like a puppeteer playing with people that's why i think that cunning route suits Amen and set 
the best. And on honesty, Livius and Ramses and Agnia would be the best fit because those love interests have expressed so far that they want honesty the most from Eva. These were all my recommendations for the route. If you have questions or something wasn't clear for you, you can always write a comment. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you my lovely soya beans in my next one.